Now, babies are so beautiful, especially when they're sleeping. Oh, they're just magic. They're little angels. But many Kiwi mums struggle with getting their little one to close their eyes, which means parents are often suffering from sleep deprivation as well. The babies never are. It's the parents that are. Joining us on Coffee Group with some advice, Dr. Adele Fez and Dorothy Way. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Really nice to have you here. This is a subject that it always has so much widespread interest, mm. I think, babies and sleep. Adela, how important is sleep to your child? One of Dorothy's favourite sayings, uh, we work together a lot, is sleep is a nutrient for a baby mm. and I completely agree with that and actually for babies and children a lot of their development and growth is happening while they're sleeping. Yeah I mean yeah. sleep is important for everybody but particularly so mm. for, for kids. Now, Dorothy what's the most common mistake parents are making when they're trying to get their baby to sleep? This is what all coffee groups discuss all the time. Absolutely. My best bit of advice to parents is try not to do anything out of the cot that you can't replicate in the cot. So a quick fix, you do the large rocking, walking, swinging, swaying, all the big huge movements, but then when you go to put your baby in a cot, it's stationary. So if you're going to hold a baby, your body's a mattress so that when you go and transfer, you can just do the transfer easily, you do a movement on the baby that you can actually do within the cot. So it's a nice, simple transition. And what we've got to remember, we've got so much about crying nowadays. Crying is communication. Crying is words. Words we always stop, listen and act. What am I doing for my baby? Where is my baby? So it's really important, especially for the fourth trimester, that we are not encouraging parents to put their babies in the cot and letting them cry for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. How many times do I go into a home and there's a little seven week old baby crying its lungs out in a cot? Mums look to people like myself and other professionals for support. We need to teach them to nurture, not to put them in a cot at a young age. It's so interesting because I remember when uh, my, my last one was like a baby, there was a book around at the time yes. that it said exact, do exactly that and I can even bring myself to do it because mm. it just... just that, that, that book was banned in the UK when I was in there. So you'd go into the UK nurseries and it would say, we do not do the way. Yes. And when I did work over there and I was working through an agency, I'd go through the, the, the list of jobs. And if somebody said, want to do it the way, I would actually go for that job so I could encourage the parents in another way to nurture their babies because nurturing is so important. Mm. And we only get one chance at this. You know, and it's hard, we're sleep deprived, but you know, let's nurture our babies. Um, but they do cry, so there's two types of crying. There's the crying that's presented to you that's normal, I'm hungry, I'm tired, mm. I'm this. And then there's the uncontrollable crying that's very hard to comfort. And those are the babies that, and parents that we need to listen to because those babies are telling us something, not that type of baby. Yeah, something else is going on. Adela, yeah. could there be a physical issue sometimes if your baby's not yeah, sleeping? Yeah, so right off the back of what Dorothy's just said, if your baby's crying in a way where your gut instinct as a parent is telling you that's not normal, mm. this is not normal communication, that's when we really encourage you to do what you need to find the support and the people that will listen. Because also um, some sort of birth injury or trauma can happen right from birth. Mm. So you don't just have a baby that cries all the time, there may be a physical reason. Okay, there may be a physical yeah. reason. Adela, uh, not Adela, uh, Dorothy Swaddling. Is there a right or a wrong way? There absolutely is. Here's and something I prepared early for us too. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, look at oh, this little tiny baby. baby. Would you like to show us the right way like, and just talk well, us through what we're meant to be doing? You've actually done one of the right ways. This is what I call a half swaddle. And when I'm transferring a baby out of the swaddle because parents say, how do you do it? I go, well, I just take the swaddle, put the sleeping bag on, and there we are. Same as going from bassinet to cot. Mm -hmm. But a lot of parents struggle with that. So what I suggest is that if you're going to, this is a really fantastic swaddle, and you can either do arms down, which they call, um, I call it a straight jacket. I try not to do that. But if you're doing that, you've got to have really good stretchy material. So as they're settling, they can bring their hands up. Mm. Right. Okay. I do across the heart, which is like that. Or I also do another swaddle, with, which I call my snow angel swaddle. And I have actually okay. a video demonstrating that. But if we just do cross the over here, we roll the baby in and cross over. Excellent. And, and that's it. We've got to move on a little bit on that one because um, that's a great swaddle. Thank yep. you. you must be an expert swaddler um, and I'm glad to know that I still had it and I did nail it. Yes! Um, Adela, what about the impact on parents just quickly who aren't getting the sleep when their babies aren't sleeping? Yeah, talk to any parent. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing with um, sleep deprived parents is it's cumulative, it's a cumulative effect. So mm. days, months or years when you've had multiple kids of not sleeping, um, your body actually can't heal 
that can lead to parents actually feeling overwhelmed, going down that anxiety track, postnatal depression. This is when I really encourage parents to get the support they need, reach out to their tribe, reach out to professionals mm. like us to help their baby get to sleep um, and to support the parents. Absolutely. Well, thank you both very much. Always great having you on the show. Great advice from Dorothy and Adila.